All right, one of our top stories now. A local family is livid tonight after their daughter was seriously hurt on a carnival ride yesterday and the carnival continues to operate. The 11 year old girl was rushed to the hospital yesterday afternoon after her hair got caught on a spinning ride. She's already undergone multiple surgeries and thankfully is expected to survive. Reporter Shannon Wilson went back to the carnival today digging for answers and joins us now live with more. Shannon. continues behind me through tonight, but the family of Elizabeth Gilrith is wondering why. I, I can't believe it that the place is still open. I just can't believe it. Billy Bankus stood outside the Cinco de Mayo Festival in South Omaha with a poster warning others of the dangers that lie behind her. I mean, it removed her scalp. Saturday afternoon, 11 year old Elizabeth Gilrith was on the King's Crown Carnival ride when witnesses say her hair got caught on a crown point ripping her hair and skin off her head. She was taken to Nebraska Medicine, where relatives say she is about to undergo her third surgery since the accident. They say they're livid that the carnival is still running despite the safety hazards. One of the first thing is, of course, safety. Uh, one of the things that's required is, did you get your inspection? Um, they actually can't operate until they have inspected. So they've already, the rides and everything have already been inspected. To our knowledge, that's what's supposed to happen and that's what's been done. Cinco de Mayo Festival Coordinator Marcos Mora says the carnival rides are run by Thomas D. Thomas. They've briefed each other on safety protocol and have determined the other rides are safe. I don't know, that ride was supposed to be safe when she got on it, when all the kids got on it. They're all supposed to be safe. It doesn't matter if the ride is necessarily safe if something happened and the person's not paying attention. Thomas D. Thomas spokesman Kate, Katie Weddleton, who also helps inspect the ride, inspect the rides, uh, declined to comment this afternoon. Police are still investigating and have even helped look at security footage at nearby businesses. Reporting in South Omaha, Shannon Wilson came to the Action Three News. All right, Shannon, thank you, Donald.